<coughs> Good morning, sir. The day lies before us with all its fraudulent triumphs and disasters. You may care to join it, sir, or to draw the sheets over your head and turn your face to the wall. Very good, sir. I didn't really start collecting talking clocks. I bought one clock for my mother. My mother who is sight impaired. In fact, I have it right here. And I can demo it. It's 4.24 p.m. There you go. And then I liked the idea of a talking clock so much, I went up and bought another one. And then another one. And another one. And eventually I woke up one morning, like many collectors, and realized in this case, I was a collector of talking clocks. As of 2010, when the Guinness World Book of Records recognized me as having the world's largest collection of talking clocks, I had 782. But with the idea that someone might break my record, I have continued and I now have 1,006 talking clocks. Waking up is ever so difficult. It spoils so many lovely dreams. Happiness is not a goal. It's a manner of traveling. And so I think for me, it's the process of collecting. There's the enjoyment. Now, it may be that if I had a goal, it would be to have a bricks and mortar museum. How does your wife feel about your collection of talking clocks? Well, initially, she was somewhat bothered in terms of clocks going off on the hour all the time. And uh, now, though, it's like living next to railroad tracks. You get used to the trains. So she suggested. And did you ever have your own moment where you thought, maybe I've gone too far? No collector thinks they've gone too far. There's always another. A pretty cat! Here we go again. I know what I'll do. 